The Dumbest Scam in Gaming! Yay! What's up, everybody? What's this is up? Yak Man here. And recently, we saw one of the biggest PR disasters in gaming we history. We did indeed! Well, guess we got two of them. We have just <laughs> witnessed a monumental screw up on par with the Ooh. day before and the <gasps> Battlefront 2 loot box oh fiasco. And if you don't believe me, by the end of this video, I think you will. Today we are diving into one of the greediest and scummiest video game developers, and quite possibly one of the dumbest scams ever attempted. If you guys thought what Ubisoft was doing with Star Wars Outlaws was bad, Battlestate Games just said, Don't hold my beer, hold it's my worse. fifth of vodka. Battlestate is Games is the developer worse? of Escape from Tarkov, an extremely popular extraction-based shooter. Over the last seven years, EFT has gathered a very dedicated hardcore okay, fan base, <laughs> partly because nothing I else on the it. market is it. quite like it. Nothing else satisfies that same itch. This is both a blessing and a curse for Tarkov fans, because without true competition, companies tend to abuse their monopoly. And, abuse. and that's what's happened with mm -hmm. BSG. They have absolutely lost their minds. They attempted to scam their most diehard players, introduce pay to win Love mechanics, those. and have doubled down harder than any company I have ever wow. seen. And while later on they did try and course correct, we'll talk about that oh later. God, no. And why has protecting your internet security oh gotten God. so awesome with NordVPN? NordVPN! In this age of increased online surveillance, VPNs are essential to keeping you safe. Hiding your browsing history from corporations who want to sell that data. Nord can help you bypass Chat, geo restrictions no matter which... Be honest. Anyone in here even using NordVPN? Do anyone of you use NordVPN? Anyone ever used it? country you're in i do i actually do no off, no you can bypass wow. that entirely nope. you can also use nord to get earlier access to a game that hasn't been huh. released in your time zone yet or you can watch sports games that are blacked out in your region nord is more than a vpn their new threat protection feature doubles as an antivirus you're killing two birds with one stone by signing up at nordvpn.com slash the actman vpn nordvpn protects you from hackers and will even <laughs> alert you if it finds your data on the dark web also, Nord is dirt cheap. It's easy to use and it has helped me out in so many ways. And if you go to nordvpn.com slash the actman VPN and sign up. Might have to use it. Now that I've become a content creator, it might be important for me to get myself hooked up with NordVPN and the sponsorship wink, wink, nudge, nudge. For a two year plan, I'll give you four months free. You can't put a price on protecting yourself online. Oh, wait, you can. It's $3. <laughs> Thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video. And now for something completely different. So on April 25th, Tarkov fans were treated to a spectacular announcement. A wondrous, massive update, which would include the highly anticipated offline co-op PvE mode. Consistent okay. progression, no wipes, just you and the boys and a good time, right? And the boys. Were it so easy. However, this PvE mode would be exclusive to those who purchased the new version of Escape from Tarkov, the Unheard Edition. It's the biggest Unheard. piece of dog shit. Available to you for the low, affordable, reasonable, generous okay. price of... <laughs> $250. The fuck comes in this? Like, literally, does this make you come? Is that it? How? By purchasing the game, you automatically agree to the rules of the game. The additional fees are not included in the price. The final cost will be presented before the payment. Different payment methods include different fees. I don't even know what what's inside this yet. <laughs> it's a new oh, game. You give me $250? What? Right. What's, th what's that? You can't afford that? Oh, look at me. I'm a regular person. How much does Escape from Tarkov, uh, Tarkov uh, cost to begin with? Like 30, 40 bucks? I, I actually don't know. How much is it? Listen, oh, I have to pay for groceries. I have to pay rent. <laughs> oh, woe is me. I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> you gotta pay for groceries? What are you, poor? What the fuck? It's like 80 euros? What? No way Escape from Tarkov is like 80s. I thought it's cheaper. What? Where's Steam? Where the fuck is Steam at? We don't even need Steam. We can look it up on Google. 
Escape from Tarkov Steam. It's not on Steam? Wait, what? It's not- I, I thought it was. Oh, for cost. Ah, uh, remove Steam. Purchase. I I just want to buy the game. Just the game. Just the game. Just the game. Just the game. Standard. 52. Is this escape from Tarkov itself? Guaranteed instant access to closed beta? Wait. Is escape from Tarkov still in beta? I thought the game is out! Wait, what? It's... Wait, 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 you're telling me they're asking for 250 uh, euros, dollars, or whatever? And it's still in beta? The shit's still in beta and they want 250 euros for what now? That's right, for 250 big ones, you too can get an armband that marks you as a target of harassment and discrimination by the rest of the community. Uh -oh. Let's think about this. If the base version of Tarkov is 50 bucks, then this DLC is four times more expensive. Maybe that's the why they fuck? call it the Unheard Edition, because yeah, $200 off. for DLC is unheard of, or because the complaints of the Tarkov community have gone unheard by the developers for many years. For reference, the Elden Ring Collector's Edition was 60 bucks cheaper. It came with all of this stuff and a statue of millennia. Look it looks so good. I wish I would have had money back then to buy it, man. It looks so good. It looks pretty goddamn good. I think this was worth it. Yeah, You 100%. could buy two Ultimate Editions of Star Wars Outlaws, for the price of the Unheard Edition. Consider this. Wow. If you and three buddies want to play the Tarkov PvE mode and support the developers instead of playing a mod. 750 bucks. One thousand oh. dollars. A total of four people. Are you high thousand right dollars. Now? What the what? fuck? Charging people between a hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars for a P. And like, if I'm, I might be wrong because I. I didn't follow this uh, too much recently because I'm not really into Escape from Tarkov, so I didn't like uh, follow this entire quote-unquote drama. Um, I didn't follow this entire scam. It's not even just drama, it's a fucking scam. I didn't follow this, but didn't they promise the PvE thing to be included to begin with? Question mark? Like, is something something? I'm not entirely sure. It's coming. Okay, it's coming. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. insane. One thing I should have mentioned in my AAA games video is that we're living in a time where people expect free updates. The industry has mostly grown past boys, paid lovely. map lovely. packs and seasons passes that split the community into the haves and the have-nots, which makes the $250 price tag all the more ridiculous. Most AAA companies aren't even this greedy. This is like quadruple A greed. Well, escape of uh, escape from Tarkov, escape of Tarkov. I don't even fucking know anymore. Would the game be considered a triple A game? Is it a double A game? Is it an indie game? Like what? What? What sort of A's are we looking at? What sort of A's are we looking at here from Escape of Tarkov? I don't actually even know, but I generally believe that it was like thirty or forty bucks. I didn't know it was fifty. Fuck. Also keep in mind that Battlestate Games is a business a and for businesses S. before launching a product talk about how much they should sell it for. This decision was agreed MD. upon okay. and announced. They thought this was the right price. Yikes. Double if you're wondering why people us. were so pissed, it's because a PvE mode has been Tarkov's most requested feature for a very long time. So they all thought you would eat all this shit up. What's wrong with you? Aren't you a good consumer? PC gamers don't want to eat your shit, is the thing. PC gamers don't want to eat your shit. Console gamers might. PC gamers, they don't want to eat it. They don't want to eat the dick in the salad. Just, just shut up and buy it. Zoom, zoom, it's time to consume. I love consuming. Give me money. <laughs> money me. Money now. Me a money needing a lot now. But 
This is Kitsu. This is me right there. This is me. But hold on. <laughs> One year ago, Nikita Buyanov, the CEO, said that offline PvE raids with progression was not an option. Uh -huh. Could this recent change have anything to do with the other upcoming extraction shooters that will include a PvE mode? It, it... Uh oh. Uh oh, Yo, it's hurry, hurting again. It's hurting up here. It wasn't just the price that people were upset about. For a game as a precedent Dude, I know hardcore you. I don't know. as Tarkov. <laughs> you tell me if you know me. How am I supposed to know if you know me? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> What's up? What's up? <laughs> Every advantage matters a lot. How players gain and risk those advantages through <laughs> skill, luck, map knowledge, and creativity is integral to the appeal of Tarkov. So to make this blood ah, sacrifice of your bank account seem more enticing, yeah. BSG would allow you to pay to win. Oh my god. Much of the content question mark offered in unheard is blatantly pay to win features Wait, and what? would give you a huge head start in front no way they pay to win did Wh what that's one thing you don't fucking do that's one thing you don't fucking do nowadays anymore one of the oh aforementioned peasants but how to explain this to non to players? From the start, well, really? Well, holy will, shit. I'm so glad I never played it. Where there exists a super deluxe version of Counter-Strike. Where you can pay for immediate advantages over those that don't. What? Like being able to call in reinforcements after your teammates what? have already been killed. Wait, what? Where this version gives you more starting money than other players. What? This version of Counter-Strike does not exist in our world, thankfully. Yeah. But this version of Tarkov does exist. Oh no. In the Twilight Zone. Oh and no. And that's where it feels like we are. The fucking Twilight Zone. Because here's when things go from bad to worse. Oh no. You see, Battlestate offered multiple versions of Tarkov during these seven years it's been in beta. So fans have been responsible for funding Tarkov's development. And if yeah. you are willing to spend $150 on a game that isn't even finished, I'd say you're a true believer. Edge of Darkness was the ultimate edition, and one of the promises uh -huh. made was that everyone who bought EOD would get all future DLC for free. Until there it is, there it is, yeah, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh my god, money burn! Pay <laughs> <laughs> JK, unheard of, is actually the super ultimate edition. But luckily for you EOD owners, you only have to pay $100 to get it. OBJECTION! You do not need to buy anything at any stage. If you have EOD, you do not even pay for DLCs in the future. You are all in it for all coming. So that was a fucking lie. <laughs> and then they, if I remember correctly, they justified it by saying it's not DLC. <laughs> I can you explain oh, this, no. BSG? I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. This is a fucking scam. Everyone who bought EOD believed in Battlestate, and they took a leap of faith for you. Well, look where they jumped. Into the fucking abyss. Not Say hi to the four kings for me. No. You can't just falsely advertise something for six years and then pull the plug. That's against the law. Oh, I am above the law! <laughs> Many Tarkov fans were understandably upset at this point. Uh, so yep. you made a bad call, BSG. As the day before developers once said, shit happens. The best <laughs> thing to do in a situation like this is take a few days, reconsider priorities, talk with your team, and start drafting an apology post that you can... Why is the community manager talking on Discord? Oh, Wait, no. what did he say? No, 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 oh no. <laughs> Yo, what's up, lol? What is your name? Ol E. What now? It ain't I DLC. Know. It's unique feature of the new edition is, added. Is, DLC is. means additional downloadable content. PVE is a feature and a game oh mode. God. Just because you all wanted to become a DLC, it wouldn't mean it is one. He he doesn't know what DLC is. I don't understand anything. We're we're watching a react video, <laughs> or like I'm reacting. <laughs> I'm reacting to a video by watching the dumbest scam in gaming. <laughs> hey, don't show your middle finger at me. What the fuck? Don't flip me off. Hey, yo. <laughs> this, is, this is about escape of Tarkov. Escape of Tarkov. <laughs> what verbal diarrhea just came out of your mouth? Are you f***ing serious? 
DLC means additional downloadable content. PvE is a feature and game mode. Just because you all wanted to become a DLC, it wouldn't mean it is one. It's featured game mode for the new edition of the. Oh, oh my god. No, guys, you got it all wrong. This PvE mode isn't DLC. It's you just keep consuming. Don't you like buying things? Go on and buy. Spend more money, you oh fucking idiot. God. You want to explain yourself? What are you doing? Nope. What money. are you doing? <laughs> Making a mistake. Making no, a mistake. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bro, you're not releasing Escape from Tarkov 2 Electric Boogaloo. This isn't separate from... You need the base game to install the unheard content. Therefore, it is downloadable content. Okay, so maybe the community manager just went rogue for a bit. Well, let's a wheel bit. him in, talk about this as a team. Ah, so we can... words. Who's managing the Twitter account? <laughs> PVE is a unique feature which is available only for the owners of the Unheard Edition. We will keep you updated on new features exclusive for no. EOD owners. Objection! New game modes are generally accepted <laughs> as DLC if... Let's go! Put behind a paywall, Battlestate sold EOD with the promise that they would receive free access to all subsequent DLCs. And if you check these links, like this link is, what is DLC in gaming? <laughs> oh my god, get destroyed. Just answering the most basic question. But as you can see from the Wayback Machine, free access to all subsequent <gasps> DLCs. The Wayback Machine coming in clutch. Hey, yo, get destroyed. Sees. When companies mess up, it's not uncommon for them to initially double down on a bad decision. It gets decision. worse, oh my god! What you don't often see is the triple down. You should have just taken down. a page out of EA's book he and said, down. We don't call it DLC, we call it surprise scamming. Obviously, <laughs> the idea that this isn't DLC is just preposterous to even the they can most sue for simple that, right? minded. And all honestly, I think they should be able to sue for that. Like, logically thinking, um, they offered something, people paid for it, and they changed what was inside that contract. That should be suable, yeah. The idea that this isn't DLC. We don't call it DLC, we call it surprise scamming. Obviously, the idea that this isn't DLC is just preposterous to even the most simple-minded sloth. But the reason they're trying to argue that this isn't DLC is so that they can justify charging you for it. And it of was course, around this point, else? this tweet, that people started digging, and they found something quite interesting. Oh, no. All of the developer diary videos talking about the Edge of Darkness edition, oh, no. those have vanished. Oh, of and that's course. not all. BSG oh, no. has changed the phrasing of what's included in EOD on their website. This was revealed live on stream by Landmark. Dude, they fucking removed it? Are you kidding me? The, the, on the left is the current page, escapefromtarkov.com from just a couple minutes ago, April 25th, 2024, Edge of Darkness edition on both of them. They removed the word unique from the secure container three by three cells description hey. over the last several minutes however long this was they literally okay. removed the word unique because it's no longer unique because they're offering it in another edition oh like my i God. said people oh purchased EOD based on what was listed and advertised to go back and retroactively hide and change this fact and get caught in 4k <laughs> doing it to me that's the smoking gun that is all the evidence you need to prove that this was all done with malicious intent. What Cut, awesome. print, put it in the papers. BSG are pieces of shit. If you didn't already know, now you do. Reputation forever tarnished. But we're only at the halfway point of this story. Oh no. At this point, the story started to oh, travel no. beyond the core Tarkov community. Other developers took to Twitter and roasted Battlestate games. Be sure to check out the deals in the acquisition center today with prices so low, they're practically unheard of. True believers can grab the True CM21 believers. Trench Paramedic for only 250 super credits. Only. Not available for free to super <laughs> citizens. <laughs> wow. He destroyed that company without even touching them. $250 Daisy Starter Loot Bundle is now oh sold out. Thank you. Limited stock as we can't give to everyone. It's too expensive and technically hard. The true oh believers God. will get to enjoy the bundle for six months. If you don't get these jokes, you will. But like, how are you getting blasted by Daisy? Of all games, 
Daisy just destroyed you. Arena Breakout Infinite is another upcoming extraction shooter. And while it does have a terrible name, they too took to Twitter to capitalize on the bad press of their competition and poked fun at Battle State <laughs> games and their Unheard Edition. Have a nice 20 minute adventure in the blatant plagiarist game. In and out. Objection! Video games cannot be sued for plagiarism for simply being a same or similar category. I cannot believe that I have another opportunity to bring wow. this ancient meme out of its grave, but we are concerned Arena Breakout Infinite may be replicating the experience that Escape from Tarkov is known for. The plagiarism accusation is ridiculous already. But why did you decide Yo, he's to got signal in the background. boost your competition it's at Navy. a time when your audience has never felt more disillusioned or dissatisfied with your product? What is going on oh in my your God. <laughs> You don't know. Stupid mistakes. Stupid mistakes. Oh You're just throwing God. shade, dude. You guys are clearly pissed. Just shut the hell up and come out with a nice apology. And that is exactly what they did. <laughs> Later that day, Nikita made the first of many oh, no. well-received posts on Reddit. Update regarding EOD edition. Okay, okay. To honor the owners of the EOD version and okay. their indelible importance and role in the EFT universe, we plan to add the following new unique features okay, to the edition. Go. And as you can see, these are just a bunch of nice perks that make the game easier for you. But okay. what's really interesting is high priority matching for EOD owners for six months. What? Having high priority matching for EOD owners for six months is now scamming non-EOD owners as this was not part of the different packages when they were deciding which edition to buy. <laughs> so you've just made everyone even more pissed off. You have to, you have to pay more. I thought that's what you <laughs> no. paid for the game for, to play it. <laughs> now you have to pay an extra fee to get high priority matchmaking? Nobody what? let the co- the fuck is high priority matchmaking? That you get in games first? And that is being offered? So you're saying they don't plan to release the game in the next six months, at least. Holy shit. Holy shit. All the duty publishers know about this. Are you telling me I am stuck in a 15 minute queue every game on purpose only because I only paid $80 for a beta game? Yeah, yep. yeah. You didn't spend enough, you dumbass. Access to offline PVE for EOD owners for, for six, six months. months. We have gone through a for lot of bad months. business practices in the game industry on this channel. And I cannot ever recall seeing PR so bad they unintentionally promote other extraction shooters. Actually, man, like, what is this? If people are still playing Tarkov after this, that is insane. True believers, oh god. A quadruple down. I have altered the deal again. Pray I don't keep altering it. First, the people who paid for EOD don't want this shit that you're offering. This post of course didn't fool anybody you're basically saying okay hey guys so we thought we would scam you a lot <laughs> but because of this pushback what if we only scammed you a little, a little bit, bit yeah. what if we scammed you Tend a bit less 25 minutes in queue jesus acceptable? no no it's not okay so now all hell is breaking loose you've got twitter reddit youtube discord online has... forums basically i wonder if this has an happy end jesus man Holy breaking shit. loose. You've got Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, Discord, online forums. Basically, everyone is bashing this game, bashing BSG, and they're all in total agreement. The Discord mods are protesting the server. It's $100 <laughs> to unlock name. The server itself is in open rebellion with people spamming copy pastas. BSG oh is getting God. blasted on Twitter by their community, by Let's other go. developers. Their tweets are constantly hit with community notes. It is rare to see virtually everybody in a gaming community on the same side. That's At this point, go. there's no possibility in my mind that BSG doesn't immediately reverse everything they just announced. And it would be pure nonsense if we saw- The quadruple down. The quintuple down. Oh, quintuple. So imagine my oh, shot. no, they did. When an unreleased interview with Nikita is leaked onto <gasps> the internet. By the way, the BSG community manager verifies this leak. So this is him. And we also learned that BSG had planned to edit and alter this interview before publishing it. You want to see the level of contempt the CEO of Battlestate has for his most dedicated fans? Here it is. It's time to start preparing for the release. It's time to uh -huh. understand who are, 
the true believers. Oh my god, there it is. I see. Oh my god, the PlayStation 1 sound. The true believers. If I bought the EOD edition and I heard the CEO talking like this, I would be fucking furious. True believers? What is this, a cult? Are you <laughs> Dutch? Who among you is a true believer? And who is betraying me? And he also talks about the beacon, which will allow you to summon players in PvP. Why not let this only be in PvE? It's a cool mechanic for PvP too. Pure okay. fiction. It's fiction. Uh -huh. It's fiction. Uh -huh. We made it up. Regarding the DLC line, when you check out the pre-order page, the season pass line for EOD has been removed, but we can find using Internet Archive. We didn't remove that. Who He's did a that? Who? He's a son of a bitch. If it Bro, I don't think there's, there's any coming back from this. Like, you, you played your hand. You had a 2-7 offsuit, and, and, and you bet on it. You're done for. It's totally understandable that any company wants to have more revenue. Wouldn't it be better to release a support pack while being honest with the community? Yeah. We are honest with the community. I would ask, is there some... Yeah, I think the message has to be behind the points. Nikita re replying in the interview, like, how women reply in my DMs. <laughs> well, being honest with the community? We are honest with the community. I would ask, is there some kind of money issue for EFT? Should we be worried about the full release? Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. <laughs> so this is the obvious question. Why did they choose to monetize oh the game God. this way How when is there is real? like literally anything else would have been a better method of monetization. They did the unheard edition because they thought it would make the most money and it's what they could get away with. And that's it. Turns out their audience isn't as stupid and gullible as they thought. He also says we cannot give PVE to everyone. It's too expensive and technically hard right now. Those who will support still get this option uh -huh. it's like what are you, why are you bitching about your financial problems go figure it out it's your job battlestate yeah. games has been trying to see what they can get away with and thankfully people aren't buying it because I'm if good. there hadn't been such a huge reaction here no doubt when the full release of tarkov comes around they would have pulled something if similar ever. if they're going to lie to your face lie behind the scenes and try to hide their tracks. Just keep that in mind whenever the next announcement comes out. Remember what this company's intentions are. Ladies and gentlemen, the story does not end there. Oh no. I have the unholy pleasure no. of introducing you to the first and hopefully last sex couple down. Update on current no. situation. I have altered the deal again. They Pray I don't alter it a fourth time. <laughs> First of all, PvE game mode. This is not DLC. Again. DLC, in our understanding, is the oh major additions to the game. At this stage, it's not possible to launch all players who are EOD owners. Right now, we simply do not have the required amount of resources for this. We observe your dissatisfaction and have decided that the functionality of the PvE mode will be available for free to all owners at the release of the game when the server infrastructure will be improved to the required capacity. Okay. This is a very good comment right here. Still very tone deaf and arrogant. Tarkov is still in beta and you use the money we gave you to fund other bs we didn't ask for or expect common mm -hmm. sense should tell you don't move resources anywhere until tarkov is feature complete once you've shipped the game then go and waste whatever resources you want doing your own shit now some people what? might say this was a step in the right direction but it's not there is only one step in the right direction fulfilling the promise you made they keep trying to sweeten the deal it's like bro you failed the speech check there's no negotiating now. You can't barter to get a better price. Now here's what many have speculated as the reason for all of this shit happening. The BSG made a huge investment into Tarkov Arena and they took a big gamble with that, promoting it at various conventions and spending a lot of money developing it. And people didn't give a shit. It's my theory that the Unheard Edition was an attempt to squeeze what they could from their most loyal true believers true believe and discard us. the others. Hope these people jump ship, these freeloaders who expect to get all this DLC for free. They Holy want people shit. to pay more so they don't have to pay as much for server space. And then after this, uh, Nikita posted a non-apology. I course. would like to say that I am very sorry that fans in the game community in general are experiencing these feelings. <laughs> I'm sorry you feel that way. That's not a real apology, dude. And now they announce, oh, well, we decided to open PVE to EOD owners for free. So at this point, for the most part, they have capitulated, but 
people are still upset reasonably they have announced so many different updates and changes and oh all God. this shit it's like you just gotta get it right the first time because trying to keep up with all this shit is just a nightmare now at the start of this video i said that you would believe this is as bad as the day before in the Battlefront 2 loot box fiasco. And it's the reason I'm I arguing that is because the day before was a game that tried to Honestly, scam people who were hopeful, who were looking no, forward to the game. Battlestate tried to They're scam and screw over thousands of people who had already supported the game. Tens of hundreds of thousands of people who had already been invested in this for like six plus years. Battlestate That's Games crazy. essentially stuck a butt plug in their ass, ate nothing but Taco Bell for two weeks straight, then took the butt plug out and and that's what they left on the faces of their audience and with battlefront 2's loot box fiasco they initially fought against it but they only doubled down on it like once or twice but when the game came out you couldn't buy loot boxes that's why i think it's it, it's as bad if not worse yeah. i mean this might have been the dumbest scam in video game history holy shit <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've won. In conclusion, That's been this won. is some of the scummiest, greediest shit I have ever seen a video game developer try and pull. And I have talked about Activision and Blizzard on this channel for a long oh, time. God. Well, what do you think about all of this? Are you still a huge fan of Escape from Tarkov? Or are you disillusioned with the conduct of the company and its leaders? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe Whoa. to The Act Man for more awesome content. All right, everyone. That's all I got for today. This is the act, man. Signing out. Peace. Good fucking video, man. Holy shit.